Okay, I've got four ounces of resin right here. No. And <laughs> this is uh -huh. totally, totally not in English. Nothing on the label is in English. Oh. So what I'm going to do is this has still got some of the uh, iridescent blue Leo Bro glitter in it. Left over from another project. Fill that one up. And this is one of those that's really a pain. I believe it's similar to the uh, Pri Prixis. Not sure what it's called. But I've had these for years, so. So, I'm just going to let that do its thing for at least a minute or two anyway. Set that one aside. Okay. Now, if I can find it. Does it want to jump right out at you? No. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. <clears throat> this one might seem kind of weird. It is yellow green. <laughs> and this is in no way like the other one. This one is not um, it's not opalescent -y like that. It is, but it isn't. That, and then I'm going to add after I get my glasses on so I can tell you what it is. The um, YRYMHT resin pigment, pigment citrine. One little squirt. Now remember the resin pigment is not like alcohol ink necessarily it won't just spread out when you put it in the resin you will have to stir it in okay yep I've got right out two ounces let's see it should fill it up but I have the feeling it's not gonna be quite enough
just in time. It sounds like my husband just pulled in the driveway. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to leave these on the curing rack. And I'll be back in the morning. Okay. <laughs> these are the ones that we used the... Uh, this one is an interference additive for resin. I don't remember whether it's alcohol ink or resin dye, but anyway. And this one is the citrine. Let us see. Oh wow, I did it this time. <sighs> oh. That didn't turn out like much, but you can see a little bit of that. It's a violet. No, it's really hard. With a little bit of oh, I love that little bit of gold. Um, that was from the Leo Bro. is really cute it actually does shine better uh, with a candle in it obviously but you can see a bit more of that violet reflection okay that is that one Now, this one is a little thin on the bottom, hopefully. And sharp. Okay. Not sure about that. Uh, 
Now these have both been sprayed with uh, Molderly spray. I don't know what good that does throwing it upside down, but anyway. That is pretty. I love that. That is really pretty. Sparkly. That, that is nice. The glitter did suspend all the way through. Of course, now the resin had set. It had set up for about 30 minutes. That is very nice. I got, a, I got another one. Uh huh. There we go. <laughs> super cute. Super simple this time, but I love that yellow. I'm in love with that yellow. Um, I want to try this. I want to try this in some other colors. I definitely want to try it in black. Um, it is a violet, so... I don't know if in a purple would in some other colors <laughs> all right <sighs> this is a Timu haul uh, this is a Timu mold I've got an affiliate link listed down below that I get a little bit of kickback from uh, if you order anything through that link I've also got an Amazon shop where I have I'm not sure about these, but I've got um, resin dyes, alcohol inks, mica powders, glitters, resin, silicone. I've got a resin list, a polymer clay list, a mixed media list. There's what we did today. Oh, also, I have opened up a super thanks button below the video. I've added a buy me a coffee link and an Amazon wish list link if any of that interests you. Now, this is what we did today. <laughs> I did start up a Facebook page too. <sighs> Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm sorry. I'm really over upset.